Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help FRM and CFA students to clear their exam in the first attempt. Now today I'm, I'm back with one small uh, video which talks about a concept which is there in the FRM level 1 exam which is expected loss. Let's try to understand what exactly is this. Expected loss is basically an under, uh, a, a calculation which a bank does normally to understand what is the amount of an average credit risk that they face for a particular exposure. Okay, This is applicable to a normal bank loan also. It is applicable to your derivative transactions also. Now I'm going to be explaining you keeping in mind about a simple bank loan which an institution has given. Whenever an institution is giving a loan, they always calculate an expected loss which basically means on this loan on an average what is the loss that I can expect? Okay, There are reasons why bank is calculating that because once if I have an understanding that on an average what can be the loss in my in this loan, I can use that information to change my pricing so that from the start itself I increase my pricing and incorporate that expected loss into it. Now from the loan perspective, the interest rate can be slightly increased because there is some risk involved in that loan. Okay, How does a bank tries to calculate an expected loss? Expected loss simply means your exposure of default okay, into probability of default into your loss given default. Now, exposure of default means what is the risk or what is the risk in terms of amount that the bank is actually facing. So suppose bank has given a loan of 1 crore INR and out of that, the customer has already paid 20 lakhs INR. The rest 80 lakh is the exposure of the bank. Okay. Obviously, having a collateral can also have an impact on your exposure. Okay. This exposure determines if there is a default. Okay. At that point in time, what is the amount which is at risk for the bank? Next is the probability of default. Now, from the name, it is very simple. That probability of default ideally tells you that if the customer is if the customer has taken a loan what are the chances that he might default over a, within a period of time okay this rep, this pd probability of default is derived by bank by calculating that they might have their own models they might use some rating they might use civil score for a normal retail loan also they have their own mechanism to try to understand what are the chances that a customer might default okay the next component is a loss given default. Okay, loss given default is also called as loss rate. But this loss given default primarily depends upon what has been the recovery. So suppose if there is a default of the customer, what is the loss that I am expecting? Or how much percentage I might lose? Because once the customer defaults, there are different ways or mechanisms through which I would try to recover my money. So if my recovery rate is around 70%, then my loss is 30%. So your loss given default and your recovery rate primarily is connected. Okay, they are inversely related to each other. Now this formula, which is your expected loss is equal to exposure at default into probability of default into a loss given default. This is very important for your FRM exam, especially the level one exam, because this gives you the idea how a bank tries to calculate the normal expected average loss. Okay, that the bank can face if they enter into a particular transaction or enter into a particular loan agreement with the client. Okay, I hope this video helps you to understand uh, the concept better and improves your ability to solve the exam question. And if I'll be coming up with more such qu uh, concept related questions or chapters for preparation for your exam. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to see uh, get a notification as I come up with a new video. Thank you very much guys. Thank you for joining me.